Hello my friends, for today's beer review we're going to be taking a look at New Belgium Brewery's Rampant Imperial India Pale Ale. So this is a beer that um, I have seen a few times and I've been kind of curious to try from New Belgium Brewery. Now our local pubs and, um, and taverns here they they don't get the best craft beer in because we're not like a huge town where I'm at. But we do get in a couple of craft beers, one of them being New Belgium's Ranger IPA. Um, and it's not like an over-the-top crazy awesome IPA, um, but it's very good. It's very sessionable, it's solid, and um, it's kind of my go-to whenever I go to the bar. You can, you can drink through a couple of them. Um, just a really nice, solid, sessionable IPA. Well, that being said, I was very excited to find that they have an Imperial IPA from the same brewery. And I love the crown sitting amongst like the hot plants or um, what have you. And uh, it just looks really nice. And it, it kind of attracted my attention when I saw it. Um, it is 8.5% alcohol by volume, so this is starting to approach the really high range. You'll probably feel it after one or two of these. It says, um, that craving for hops starts to take over in this rampant imperial IPA, proliferating with heavy peach tones, herbal sweetness, and aromatic complexity. That sounds pretty interesting. On the back here, talks about their film tour they're about to be doing, but whatever. Um, to today we're going to be drinking this out of the Dogfish Head branded um, IPA glass. So without further ado, let's get the cap off of it and um, see how this beer stands up to the test of uh, IPAs and against uh, their Ranger IPA. Straight out of the bottle, it pours kind of a light peachish gold color, not too crazy. We'll pour this down the center and get just a little bit of head on it. Just right into the light. It's just kind of gold. It's a little bit murky, but there might be a chill haze on it. Um, not what, not the color that I expect normally from an Imperial IPA. Normally I kind of expect those sort of deep orangish kind of caramel copper um, tones from an Imperial IPA, but that's not to say it's going to be bad. Um, Pour about a finger of um, nice, thick, creamy, um, ivory white head. There um, is a decent amount of little bubbles streaming up to reinforce the head, so hopefully it'll stick around for a little while. Let's uh, give it a smell and see what it's all about. Very nice. I can always tell when it's an Imperial and when it's going to be good because you get that almost very light touch of caramel taste in the very background of your IPAs. I always, always get it, and it's always good whenever I smell that. Let's hope this doesn't break the chain. Plenty of herbal hops. I actually do pick up a strong sense of kind of like a peach or mango-y sort of smell in this. Very warm and sweet. Maybe some pineapple, but yeah, the peach really comes through. It's a very warm peach, almost like, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Thickened, sugary, like, like a peach cobbler, sort of. Mixes with that caramel really nice. And of course there's your hops, but it's actually not like a bitter grapefruity hop presence. That peach really takes over as far as the aroma goes. Um, it smells interesting, to be sure. So, um, without further ado, let's give it a uh, smell. I mean, where I give it a smell, let's give it a taste and uh, see what it's all about. Nice. It's a lot more balanced then the flavor would lead you on to believe it is or the aroma rather because the aroma you it smells so full on sweet and there's not much savory or bitterness in the aroma but the taste is well balanced it's got a light sweetness up front and it's more of a grapefruity Sweetness, the peach is kind of a loss as far as the taste goes, which is unfortunate. And it does end on a sharp, bitter, hoppy note in the back. Um, I would call this more of a bitter IPA or Imperial IPA than I would call it, say, like a like a sweeter kind of easier IPA. This one's a little bit more focused on the bittering hops in the back, which I like personally. A lot of the time when you get Imperial IPAs, they're very, very sweet. 
which is nice and tasty, but it makes them unsessionable. This is probably the most, I'll give it this, the most sessionable Imperial IPA that I've had. Um, the body is a little bit thin on this, which is good because it kind of mixes with that refreshing, crisp, bitter hoppiness, and it makes it a refreshing and sessionable Imperial IPA. So I'm going to give it kudos as far as that goes. I like it. Um, it's definitely solid. Now, as far as a rating is concerned, mm, I want to give it a um, an 8.5. I think I'm comfortable with that score. I think I'm comfortable with giving it an 8.5. Um, it's very, very good. It's solid. It's sessionable, even for being an Imperial with that increased alcohol. So you may be kind of careful because you can't really taste it in there. But anyway, that has been New Belgium Brewery's Rampant Imperial IPA. Hope you guys enjoyed the review as always, and stay tuned for the next one.